It's time. We haven't been on a cruise ship in almost two years. And today we board a ship to Alaska. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? We made it. They checked our COVID test and our vaccine records. We're one step closer. <laughs> and our room's like, I don't know, up like there somewhere. That was the easiest ever. First off, get some food. I think I found out where we're hanging out. In all of our times on a cruise ship, this is our first time having a suite. We actually have a couch and chairs. Come look at this bathroom. I can't believe it. A bathtub. I have never seen one of these on a cruise ship before. That's pretty big. <laughs> but the best part is right over here. have lounge chairs with cushions on them. It's so much better than those lounge chairs with no cushions. I know. Sheesh. We are never leaving the suite except for to eat. And I think they deliver too. So, you know, we don't ever have to leave. We even have our own coffee machine and a kettle and cookies. All for me. Because unfortunately they're not gluten free. And there's the cameraman. In the suite. Oh, it looks like American Beauty. It's creepy. The ship's moving. I'm eating. Now it's a party. <laughs> Waking up to this makes me feel so lucky. But we all know I'm really the lucky one. Aww. And it's freezing. Let's go inside. <laughs> and then there was fog. We've got whales. Whales on the third day. That's impressive. <laughs> the whales are breaching. This is fun. Oh, there's a skin. He's waiting. I'm having so much fun. We made it to Juno. <laughs> Don't you have something you planned? Yes, we haven't in a long time gone on a, uh, what is it? Shopping trip. Shopping trip. <laughs> or the shop, the ports, shopping ports. Yeah, whatever. where you enter all of the raffles. Last time we did it, we won everything and people got really mad. <laughs> they thought we were ringers. Yeah, so we're gonna try it again and see beautiful Juno. But most importantly, I have to see a raven. They have the biggest and most beautiful ravens here in Juno. Ever. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, that ship is big. Okay, I found your raven. I want a real one that actually breathes, though. Picky, picky, picky. I need to see a raven, so we are going to hunt one down. So far, I haven't seen one bird. Last time we were here, we saw a bald eagle just flying the trees. I saw a bunch of seagulls over that way. <laughs> well, that's true. But we did come in June. It is almost the end of September. You know what Maggie Mae says, it's late September and I really must be back at school. <laughs> Katie, I found birds. Look up there. Those are not ravens. That's not a raven. They're right there. No, those are crows. Crows and ravens are the same thing. No, they're not. What's the difference? <laughs> ravens are massive. Crows are small, like those. Mm. And they have a huge beak. Mm. The search continues. Yep. Bald eagle right there. There's tons of them around here, but it's so pretty. We have a possible raven sighting, so Kate's going to investigate. They're acting goofy, so that's a plus. Is it a raven? Is it a crow? Only Katie will know. Say never more. Just once. They are ravens. You have accomplished your goal in Juneau, I am. Alaska. Juneau is still beautiful. There's just no one here. I was expecting more people, I guess. 
but it looks like well, we're, we brought the people. That's it. And we didn't bring that many. No. The ship is at reduced capacity. I'm not gonna lie. I love it. It's not crowded. There's not big lines. It's a lot more pleasurable for me. Yeah. I don't know about you. Yeah, I, I really enjoy it. Oh, he's pretty. All right, we've got a Raven alert. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> we know when we're talking and there's animals. Get, you gotta stop. <laughs> I get an elephant. They're free. <laughs> oh, hi, we cannot go through this way. It's restricted. What are you talking about? <laughs> she sees a little restricted area, Marsec level one. All of a sudden she's like, oh, we can't go. Yeah, we can't go. I was like, oh, hey, King Crab Shack. A local guy told me they don't have King Crab legs there anymore and it's way overpriced. We'll go elsewhere. I'll follow her. Well, everything's pretty much closed up around where we're at. There's a little bit of touristy stuff. We just took a walk and now we're walking down the Juno Sea Walk. It's a really nice little boardwalk. It's got some sculptures, ocean access. Yeah, it's really nice. We got beautiful weather. We were expecting it to be raining all week, so. Yeah, so taking advantage of it. Normally when Kate's that far ahead, it's because she found a bathroom somewhere. Yep. I hope I didn't miss them, but there's some seals right here. Hey, buddy. Hey, Bubba. It's a little harbor seal, I think. Yeah. Look at him, he's so cute. That brings the current animal total today to humpback whales, bald eagles, ravens, and seals. That's a good day. I'm really enjoying our room. The big balcony to opening the windows and just watching Alaska go by. It's really a treat. I have to say, we get up in the morning having coffee at your fingertips is a big plus. And thank you very much for getting it to me, everyone. Of course. It's like more of a benefit for me. I don't walk downstairs to get it. I just make it in the room. And this is Skagway. Okay? Yeah, we're at Skagway. Skagway. <laughs> You know, you never know where we are. And it is pretty. I'll try and get a better view back there. It's a little washed out, but it's very pretty. However, it's also rainy and cold. So uh, since we've been here before, we're just gonna go to the solarium where it's heated and get in a hot tub. Yeah, that sounds fantastic. <laughs> and maybe it stops raining, we'll go to town. This is how we spend rainy days on cruises. Okay. There's Skagway. That's about close enough to Skagway for the day. How do we start our day on the ship? Well, first there's coffee. <laughs> then we head out on the balcony to check out the day. Today we're in Sitka, complete with a seaplane. And we head to brunch. We take the stairs instead of the elevators. <laughs> our favorite place for brunch is the Solarium Bistro. Which is in the adults only area of the ship. Welcome to the Solarium Bistro. And that's why it's our favorite. Thank you. With the COVID protocols, you tell them what you want, and they give it to you. I like everything that's fried. I serve with fruit, and I get smoked salmon. A lot of smoked salmon to go with my fruit. And then we take a walk around the ship. We've spent over a month of our lives on this ship over time, and we always thought that the hot tubs were cold. Yesterday we learned this hot tub is cold, that one is hot. A month complaining about cold hot tubs. Learn something new every day. Check out that view. My favorite part when it's open is the ice cream stand, but it doesn't <laughs> open till 10. <laughs> <laughs> right after brunch heading for ice cream. Huh. Oh, it's very closed. Yes, it's not 10 a.m. yet. Now in the Caribbean or the South Pacific, we'd be out here. Not so much in Alaska. <laughs> Chris, he'll be right here. We're in Club 270, and as you can see, there's 270 degrees of windows back here. And a cafe that serves spinning. 
bikini. We're going to show you the rest of the ship later because they're doing a crew drill and we need to get out of the way. Oh, that's Latoya. <laughs> she that's makes Mr. the Ever. best yeah. mochas. <laughs> Thank you much. <laughs> Take care, guys. Have a good day. Well, I guess we'll show you it now because we're at shore, so there is not very many people on board. <laughs> The rest of the ship is awesome, but the Diamond Lounge, wow, this is where we spend most of our time. Good morning. Kathy. Yes, Grace, how Hello. are you doing? Hi, Grace. Yes. Hello, and see, that's why we love the Diamond Lounge. Oh, thank you. She remembers everybody's name. This is our favorite perk about having status on Royal Caribbean. And there is amazing coffee included at the lounge and amazing service. Oh, we got new subscribers. Is it going to be on YouTube or? Oh, yeah. Like, like and subscribe, Katie, Matt, Chris. Ah, these girls are amazing. Okay, Thank you, ma'am. Next one. A cappuccino with an extra shot of espresso, please. Well, it currently looks like that in Sitka. So the chances of us heading out for a walk are decreasing by the minute, especially when our, well, our room is just amazing. Well, you're up here. Sitka was a uh, two hour walk over here. We saw it was beautiful. <laughs> it's true, we didn't really get to see Sitka. Did we? <laughs> Thankfully, it just got beautiful, just in time for us to well, sail away. We have discovered a new level of luxury here on the Ovation of the Seas. It's called Coastal Kitchen, and you can only get it if you're Prestige. Prestige? Is it prestige? No. <laughs> I'm back in my office now. Pentacle or Pentacle? Pinnacle. Pinnacle. If it's Pinnacle or if you have a suite. This time we have a junior suite. So we can only go in for dinner. If we had the grand suite, we could use it for all the meals. We went our first time last night. What'd you think? Oh my goodness. They make everything fresh. It's really hot. It was fantastic. We um, told them, hey, we're going to be back the rest of the time. So we're not going back to the dining room. <laughs> So we're gonna sneak the camera into, well, we're not gonna sneak it. We're gonna take the camera into Coastal Kitchen tonight and um, if we don't get yelled at, we're gonna film that. It's so good. It is. <laughs> good evening, how are you? Good evening, how are you? This is Sherry Ann, like our favorite ever from the ovation, like what, three years ago? Yeah, I think it was. <laughs> wow. Three years ago. Good morning, good evening. Good evening, how are you? Great to see you again. Thank you. Uh, I'm looking at the menu, that's very, very important. <laughs> the venue's really pretty and the views are to die for, but the food. And what a great bonus to see Shariana. We had the best time with her. I think we even have a, we'll put a video in, our video with her. Can't beat that view for dinner. Oh, yeah, I can. <laughs> it's pretty. Mm, that's really good. This is tuna tartare. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm not sure I like this new camera this close, but this is <laughs> Christine. I'm not sure what these, little, what these little things are. Mm -hmm. They're stuffed olives. Ooh. That is just gorgeous. Crusted flounder. I had to pick this one because it had crab crusted. I've never actually heard of crab crusted flounder. The fish is cooked to perfection. And the crab is buttery, but it's cooked really well. This is very nice. Really light. Duck breast and a New York strip steak with herb butter. Because why not? This is warm apple pie, and it is really good. Flaky crust, and the insides, lots of rich cinnamon. Really good with vanilla ice cream. I really like this. Oh, and what are you getting? sorbet and pineapple coconut custard 
and they're both delicious. So I'm just gonna be over here <laughs> eating <laughs> my stuff by myself. Enjoy your pie. I will. I love the cinnamon. I can eat cinnamon. I can't drink cinnamon, which is really weird. How would one drink cinnamon? You know, all those cinnamon drinks that they have, the chocolate, I mean, the coffee drinks with cinnamon in them, I don't like it. But I can eat my weight in baked cinnamon. Try that raspberry sorbet. Oh, that's fresh, fresh raspberry. Fresh raspberry sorbet. I don't think we ever want to leave this place. Thank you. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll talk when we don't have our masks on. <laughs> when we come back into our room after. Why are you breathing heavy? Hey, there's 11 flights of stairs. <laughs> but much better than the first day. After we come back from dinner and the show, our room is always has surprises in it. And this one, we went. That's your adorable. Mm -hmm. And our cruise compass, which tells us what is all happening tomorrow. There's a lot of great things about having a balcony on the cruise ship, but today is the main reason and the best thing about having a private balcony. Today, we go to the glaciers. You can feel the excitement pouring off of Katie. Hey, I'm in the middle of the book. We were here nine years ago on our honeymoon. It'll be interesting to see how far the glacier's gone down. This is Dawes Glacier and Endicott Arm. It's pretty cool. The captain swung the ship in a complete circle. Well, we're all packed up and ready to head off the ship. Last thing to do is to go downstairs, check out, and hopefully find our bags in the staging area. <laughs> off we go. This is way easier than it's ever been. Yeah. Hey, it's actually sunny in Seattle. Now the fun begins, find our bags. Our least important bag, our second least important bag, and our most important bag. Ta-da! We got all three. All right. That's us. So far, so good. Now, we just hope our car is still there. If not, it'll be an exciting day. Car's okay, everything's inside. Last bag's up, off we go. Oh, we're in Seattle. Look at these people with their selfie sticks. Who would ever wander around like taking pictures of themselves? I just don't understand it. <laughs> what were some highlights from the cruise? What'd you think? Coastal kitchen. Having everything made to order and hot and made to perfection. And that elevated it to another level, having that room. I didn't think it would be as big of a difference as it is, but wow. Yeah. We're pretty happy in our little rooms that we usually book, but... But that was, that yeah. was special. It's like flying business class. We did it once, now we're ruined. <laughs> now we are just wandering off down the highway. We were going to get a room somewhere. We have a special visit with some friends. Well, well, thank you. <laughs> 
Oh, thanks again. We are heading out to meet up with some friends who you will definitely recognize uh, from some earlier videos. So, catch you then. Keep drinking this coffee. <laughs> Click the thumbs up and subscribe. Oh, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>